question uh, 1.16, 2.16 here says determine the V not in the circuit and the uh, figure. Okay, so by looking at uh, the circuit, we uh, should be should use the uh, Kirchhoff voltage uh, law. So like at any given at like within a circuit. Um, the sum of the voltage should equal to zero, right? So now uh, we take the loop as the entire thing, and this is so when it's like asking you v naught like this, right? And v naught is over here. It's just asking like, okay, so what what is the voltage cross from this point to this point? And you can look at it both both ways because this side is is one circuit, right? Because from this point to this point, you have to go through here, or this side, right? From here to here. Right, so it's really just a voltage drop uh, across these two points. Okay, so but uh, we need a little more information uh, to be able to find that value. So first, let's try the uh, proper. I mean, the, using the equation. So let's say if we take the loop this way, then it would be negative uh, 10v uh, plus 16. So this is current, right? We're trying to find the current. So uh, let's see, times i, right? That gives us voltage uh, plus 14i plus uh, 25v, right? And uh, this whole thing gives us zero. Okay. So if you put zero on the other side and then uh, minus 25, it should be gives uh, it should gives you negative uh, 15 voltage right and then on this side this gives you uh, 30 resistance times uh, current right so you divide by the resistance 30 res uh, resistance by ohms both sides then it gives you a uh, negative 1 over 2 uh, current okay and there's another way to do it so like you can do this two loops over here and set like V naught equals to each other right so this is plus and this is minus okay so if we're going this way uh, I would be negative 10 V uh, plus 16 I plus V naught right equals zero and you said V naught is this therefore it should be 10 V minus 16 ohm times the current and then you use this side of the loop it would just be negative V naught uh, plus 14 times I plus 25 V and then uh, V naught equals this, 25V, right? And then you set these two equals to each other. Uh, it would just be 14 ohms times current plus 25 volt, volts equals uh, 10 volts minus 16 uh, ohms times current. This way, it would, this gives you negative 15V. Uh, this gives you 30 uh, ohms current and then current still gives you a negative a half right so there's a multiple way of doing this it's just this way uh, is a little easier but this is like a proof I guess if you have extra time uh, doing exams then this is a way of checking your work right okay so now we found I and now uh, it's, a, it's good to find V naught so well it's perfect we have this equation here excuse me right we can just plug I into here Right, which V naught uh, in this case would give us 10 V minus 16 ohms times a half or plus, you know, 8 V, right? So it gives you 18. And then we can just plug it to this side and just check our work real quick. So half of 14 is negative 7, or negative half, half plus 25 V, uh, that still gives you 18 V, right? So all these equals to each other, and we know that we have got the uh, right answer. Okay, so this one is a little different, right? Because of the V naught, it, it tricks a lot of people uh, in the beginning, right? It's like, oh my gosh, what should I do? Like, that's not even a branch and whatnot. But remember, you know, voltage is a measure of two points, right? It's, a, it's the volts across. So, and volts is uh, joules per coulomb. It means, you know, there's across these points, these amount of energy, according to the current, has been uh, used, right? Or being absorbed or delivered. So, and remember, uh, volts always fly from high uh, volt 
high uh, volts to low volts, right? Just like water, uh, fly from high potential uh, to low potential, right? So just keep that in mind as some back knowledge. But yeah, hopefully uh, this was helpful, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.